I think it's uh, clearly a capitulation by the city council uh, to political realities. Uh, this was a grassroots response to a wrong-headed anti-job, anti-growth um, tax by the Seattle City Council. It's not as if they had a change of mind, so I worry that we'll see some other form of anti-growth, anti-jobs tax that will replace this one. The problem is not with companies that create jobs, and which is the best social good. The problem is that the C Seattle City Council doesn't know how to solve this problem. It's, they're, they're looking for somebody else to blame. They're the ones in, who should shoulder the blame. They spent over a billion dollars on homelessness over 10 years. They have little to show for it. What I worry about is that those same prospective employers out there that saw this are going to think that somehow Seattle speaks for all of Washington. It clearly does not. And that's why I propose the opposite, a $275 tax credit to incentivize employers moving to some of our rural areas that have been distressed and have high unemployment rates. So I've gotten responses from employers in those areas and those that are thinking of moving out of Seattle or from some other place that are really excited by that. So I think, you know, if you're looking in a competitive environment, where are you going to locate your business or if you're going to expand, one of the things is tax policy is, is so critical. So offering a a credit will really help. So we need to be investing in the future, which is to say we need to be encouraging more and more companies that pay living wage jobs will move to Washington State. That's a good thing for Washington.